Hello guys, one more example of virtual truss, a virtual work in trusses. But in this case, it's a different type of effect that we are looking for and we are analyzing for. First, it says determine the vertical deflection at joint B. And you know what to do with vertical deflection, right? You just put a virtual load over there and do a statics in the virtual structure. But the other part is uh, it says that that ver ver uh, vertical deflection is due to a temperature increase of 70 Fahrenheit in members A, B, and B, C, and a temperature drop on these members here. So meaning, in the top part here, we're going to have a, a drop of, let's say, let me put it like, like, like that, a drop of 35 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm going to have an increase here of 70 Fahrenheit. I personally don't understand why this happened, but hey, this is what the problem is asking, right? So this one, the drop, yes, I can understand. You have snow, you have something, you have winter in the exterior, morning, afternoon, uh, but the increase of 70 degrees Fahrenheit in the, in the interior part of that, well, I don't know. <laughs> Fire. I don't think so, but anyway. So let's let's uh, let's work this problem out. You have here this thermal coefficient, and this thermal coefficient is telling you is given is given to you because if you remember, and even if you don't remember now, I'm going to I'm going to tell you of course that an increase in temperature. First of all, it's going to cause an expansion and a decrease in temperature is going to cause a contraction, meaning tension compression. But you have a formula from mechanics of materials that it says that the deformation due to thermic reasons is the, that coefficient, which is the thermic coefficient, multiplied by the difference in temperature and multiplied by the length of the member. These are going to be the real deformations in the formula, remember virtual work, I always like to put uh, the principle of philosophy of virtual work, the external real displacement multiplied by the external virtual load has to be equal to the summation of all the interior forces, virtual forces multiplied by the real displacement. That's basically what is happening. These displacements or these deformations are going to be produced by this, and the virtual loads are going to be produced by placing at the joint that we want to study, which is B, we're going to place a unit virtual load over there. Now, if we do that, remember, I am not interested in these members. This member, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Because the only thing that I uh, care about is a uh, the the when when I do the when I do the help me out guys when I do the when I do the what uh, when I do the multiplication these are not going to have any deformation due to temperature so these members I can calculate the values if I want to the virtual values but I really don't need them but I need this and I need that so let's start with the reactions. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, you don't have to calculate them because this is symmetric, everything is symmetric. You put one here, this is 0.5, this is 0.5. So if you want to to calculate the forces AD, you can, you can calculate this angle alpha or you can use this triangle, 724, and you calculate this member. But I'm going to calculate, oh, I'm not going to call that alpha, I'm going to call that beta because I don't want to get confused with this one. So beta is going to be the inverse tangent of 7 divided by 24. That's, that's it. So if I do that, or I can say it also, I can, I can establish this, this triangle here and say this is 24, this is 7, and this is the square root of 24 squared plus 7 squared, whatever whatever way you want to do it. If I do that, let me see how much is that. Twenty-five. This is gonna be twenty-five. 
So you can use that. Uh, and if you use the joint A, we can do an analysis, a quick analysis of joint A here. Joint A. I'm going to have this 0 0.5. I'm going to have this and this. This is AD. And this is uh, AB. And of course, this has to come in this direction and this has to come in that direction because uh, the only thing opposing to this reaction vertically is this. And if this goes to the left, this has to go to the right. And in this angle here, I call it beta. And beta is that. And I do summation of forces in Y. Then you can have the 0 0.5 minus AD multiplied by 25 divided by 7 equals 0. And you can calculate for AB. And AD is going to be equal to... Not 25 divided by 7. What am I doing, guys? And you don't correct me. 7 divided by 25. Oh my god. You see, I was doing it in the calculator correctly, and that's how I figured out the error over there. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5 multiply by 25 divided by 7 equals 1.78. One point seventy eight six. That's AD, and if I do summation of forces in x equals zero, then I can get here negative AD multiplied by twenty four divided by twenty five plus AB equals zero. So I can calculate AB as 1.714 now this this here AD is the same as this one is the same as this one is the same as this one same 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 1.787 and 1.786 1.786 yes and this other one ah but this is not like that look another guys where are you come on this is in compression oh, I did that in purpose on purpose if to see if you're paying attention no I didn't But this is a good thing that you can review it as you are working. And AB is 1.7, and AB yes is in tension. So this is going to be like that, like that, like that, and like that. So uh, with only this, we have the whole truss in the virtual structure. Now, what is the other part that I need? Well, then I need what is happening with the temperature. I'm going to switch to this one here because it's cleaner. And I'm going to put in the in the top. In the top one, I'm going to put the drop on the temperature. So we have negative 35 temperature and positive 70. Those are the temperature changes. And here, I'm going to copy my forces in compression. And here are my forces in tension. And these values here on the top is 1.787 or A6. 1.786. I'm going to put the negative so I don't forget because it's compression. And this one is 1.714. And I'm going to put positive because it's that. Now, we can build a table for this one also, but the table is going to be something like member. Remember the formula, remember the Alamo. Delta is alpha delta T times L. And on top of that, the virtual work is 
delta times 1 is equal to the summation of the internal forces, the internal virtual forces trans, times that deformation. So I'm going to need in this table member, and I'm going to need L, delta T, U, which is my internal forces, and then U times L times delta T. And then at the end, this alpha is the same alpha for all of them. So I'm going to keep it outside. I'm just going to build my table here. At the end, remember, I'm going to get all of these and multiply these by alpha. So let's let's just start with that member A B E C A B B C and then A B D E E F and C F A B B C A D D E E F C F or C E is the same. C F length. This length here is 24, but I'm going to put that in, in inches. And 24, 24 times 12, 288, and 288. And this length here should be. That is 12, this is 25, 12, that is 12, right? Yep, that is, this is 12, this is not, this is 12, 24, and this other distance here is going to be 12.5 because remember it was it was a this was 25 that we calculated before so half of that is going to be 12.5 or I could do the whole member but uh, I'm going to do it the, the way it's here so 12.5 times 12 is going to be 150 In inches different in temperature for the ones at the bottom is positive 70 for the ones at the top is negative 35 this refers to the virtual internal loads in the bars and for a B and BC that was 1.714 and for AD and the rest is negative 1.786 now we multiply this times this times that Is it positive? Nine thousand three hundred and seventy five. Same thing here. Yeah, I could have you know, I could have done this as one member and just put double of the length and that would be the same result. Even I could do this like one member and put double of the length and reduce the amount of work. At the map, 106,620. And then I have to multiply this by alpha. To obtain a deformation of 0 0.693 inches. The, because it's positive and I assume 
that I put a load of one here downward, that means that the deflection is going to be also downward. Now, what is the what is the main error here? I, the main error I have seen with all the students when they do this is just keeping unit coherence. That's it. Homogeneity for the units. Be careful with the units. The procedure, as you can see, it is extremely simple. Now, if you have these temperature changes plus defect fabrication plus loads, you use to them separately and combine them. As long as they are in the virtual, in the, in the elastic range, in the linear elastic range, everything can be combined. See you later, guys. I hope that you enjoy the video. Keep watching.